this is final boarding call for the flight H U seven O seven. The vlog starts as it has so many other times in an airport. And in this particular airport in particular. Lots of particulars there. This is uh, Ningbo Lisha Airport. I'm walking to the international area. I'm gonna check in and uh, head out. It's funny when you're traveling on a cycle tour like this, literally whatever's on my back and carrying is what I'm gonna have to ride with, you know? Sometimes I'll overpack and get the extra clothes and extra stuff, but everything I have with me has gotta be very usable, either what I came here with or very, very limited pickings. I wasn't expecting it to be this warm. Very comfortable. Okay, so I'm here. First step is um, I think to go see the trike. There's a little backstory here. I uh, one of my Jaya Nation buddies went and checked out the trike, and uh, it was kind of sitting out and back, and it didn't look in the best shape. I called the company Velocity, and they said that it's covered, secure, locked, dry. I have nothing to worry about. But I'm still very curious to go over there and see it for myself. I'm a little nervous. I hope he recognizes me. Hey. How are you, man? Good, good. How are you? Very good. Good to see you again. Good to see you. We are ready for uh, the bike. Okay. Go. How have you been? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> How are you? In China? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the weather? Uh, rainy, rainy. Left. Rainy? It was raining and cold. Which, uh... See people in shorts is a nice thing. Yeah? Did you know I was going to be here today? No, 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 no. He's a, he, he, has a, he has the same trike as me. He came by, he's like, Jayo, I know you. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Leon Su. Leon Su. Leon Su. Leon Su. Uh, nice no to meet you. Yeah. Oh man, it is incredible how dirty this trike is. Even just shifting the gears, my hands are getting dirty. I think the air here is really dirty in the city. All right guys, fast forward. Um, I uh, am at the hostel. Pretty cool place, Sleepy Dragon Hostel. And uh, it's right next to Fellow City um, I have spent the last couple of hours editing, uh, getting my room and everything set up. David, who you know, he has all my bags, my locks and panniers and everything. We'll meet up with him in a little while later to grab some dinner. And uh, yeah, I've just been kind of uh, getting, getting things ready. I didn't even realize today's Saturday. Tomorrow um, I'll probably spend the whole day working, contacting people in Taipei and Taiwan in general and setting up my uh, path around. Um, I'm booked here until the 6th, at which point um, I hope I'll just be able to just get on the trike and go. 
tomorrow might be a day for cleaning the trike as well because it's it's really really dirty nasty dirty this has been a good choice for a hostel because i good decent internet and that opportunity to just plug away outside the hostel waiting for david to get here <laughs> you know i've been off tour for so long i sort of forgot what all the gear I had. Like, I, I'm like, what kind of shorts do I have? I'm gonna have to go through and re-remember all the stuff that, uh, that I left here. Too long, too long. There he is. Hey, buddy. Good seeing you. Hey, good to see you too. <laughs> Where are we headed? We are headed to what's called the uh, Ninja Night Market. Whoop, this way. Oh, can't go up down escalator. Yeah, Ninja Ninja Night Market. Okay. I'm hungry. There's lots of awesome little food uh, carts there. I was saying though that I've, I'm, I've got to watch how much I eat now. I, I've, I, been, I've been I on a keto diet. I've lost uh, 11 yeah, kilos. This guy. <laughs> flavors and something to fill me up because I'm hungry. I saw a news story in the States uh, a few months ago and it was talking about uh, people complaining that they saw a pig being wheeled into a butcher shop and uh, it was in a shopping cart and it wasn't wasn't clean enough. How, over here? Okay, okay cool. And uh, did you hear this, Dave? What's that? The news story in America. Some some uh, some conscientious conscientious observer saw somebody wheeling a uh, a cart full of pig meat to the butcher shop. Yes. And she was like, it was the most disgusting thing ever. They complained. The guy that was in the wheel cart got fired. But I mean, <laughs> in here you see like meat hanging from. Storefront, you know, yeah. slabs of all sorts of meat hanging everywhere. I had to laugh at that story. What is it? Okay. Oysters, egg, and like a. All right, whatever. Want some oysters? So it's egg. Oysters and like uh, yeah, like a or flourish, yeah. Something to hold it all together. It's good, chewy, a little bit. real tasty. Those oysters are good. How much? I was expecting that to taste a little bit less tasty. All right. David's going in. I was not expecting that to taste as good as it did. And it was just the right size that it leaves me wanting more. You know what an interesting challenge would be? Is if you could come to a like a Taiwan street market that people know about, they know it's really big, and you literally eat a little bit of every booth. I wonder how many booths you could go. You couldn't, you couldn't do them all, but I wonder how many. Of all the things I could get here, I ended up getting fried chicken. Fried chicken is very good though. And I'm not living in regret. Sure. I think I could walk up to any booth here and be completely satisfied though. Any single one. Alright guys, fantastic uh, hit the spot treat here at the uh, Taiwan uh, street market. I'm going to let you guys go. I'll talk to you more later. Enjoy your Saturday tomorrow. Let's start planning the Jayo cycle tour around Taiwan. I'll give you some of the, the skinny on that.
Take it easy. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's get to the next song.